day has finally come. We're doing this. We're getting married. Today, I make the world's most beautiful woman my wife. Today, you make me the happiest man in the world. Oh no. Hope today is everything you have been dreaming of and more. Love, Yanni. Welcome to this wonderful occasion. Today we are blessed to have family and friends from around the world. Jess, you truly are a gift. And a big thank you must also go to Rocky and Debbie for the wonderful and gorgeous bride that she is. Jess, you look absolutely stunning. I don't know what it is. I'm not used to seeing you in a dress because you're normally wearing the pants. <laughs> Congratulations for this moment. We acclaim you, crown you as a community and as a family. May God bless your common life together. She often loves to tell people that she ignited the fire between us. It was at the Crown Casino where we shared a pizza and an espresso in true Italian style. It wasn't long before I was asking Jess to be my girlfriend down at the Botanical Gardens. Enter a COVID lockdown. Jess was in Melbourne and I was in Sydney. With the border shut, we were left to come up with a master plan. Jess would attempt to drive from Melbourne to Sydney while I, in real James Bond style, risked my life on a 10-seater propeller plane to Wagga Wagga. <laughs> Some may say in this story, I'm the true hero. Thankfully, Jess made it through the border and the rest is history. Jess, three years on and you still take my breath away, like the first day we met. It's very important to end this speech with a short but famous quote from my hero. Eviva and parte. Please make welcome for the first time as husband and wife. 